Hello folks, it's Mark Rizzo here. You're with Cooking with the Riz. Um, I had a little uh, microphone malfunction and when I put this together and uh, I got no volume on the, um, on the footage. So I'll just tell you what it was. It's one kilo of fresh ricotta, uh, a bunch of continental parsley, two cups of grated, fresh grated, freshly grated parmesan cheese, um, a couple of eggs, salt and pepper. That's all it is. So you just chop up the eggs, put everything in the bowl here, mix it all up, and that's it. That's, uh, that's the result there. And this is the filling to go inside the ravioli later on. And I will show you all about what's happening with that when I get to it. Won't be for another few hours um, before I have to cook them. So that's a very easy recipe, uh, my grandma's recipe, this one. That's how she used to make them. And I've reserved a little bit of chopped parsley just to uh, put over the end result later. So sorry about the, um, I couldn't show you how to actually put it all together, but it's pretty simple. Uh, I'm going to make the homemade raviolis or angulotti, if you want to call them those as well. You can. I've got my pasta dough here that was prepared earlier. Uh, I've just got to roll them and put them all into, um, into sheet form. So first of all, I'll just cut these so I can roll them. Okay, so what we have, we just, I'll just put these in flour so they don't stick. Just lay them here ready to go. Okay, so that's done. Now we're ready to roll. Okay, I've got my first piece of dough here. I've got a bit of flour laid out here. So I'm gonna lay out all the sheets here first, and then I will um, make the ravioli from that. So you roll it through once, fold it quarter, quarter, and then you roll it that way. So then you fold it again, fold it again, and then in that way. Okay, so it comes out. You do this a few times, maybe six times, that way, and then that way. All right, so you are in there. That's probably enough now. So I'll move on to the next level, number one. And you continue this till it's all done. This will take a bit of time, so I won't bore you with uh, watching this. I'll just show you this first one, and then I'll stop and I'll continue with the other ones until I'm finished. That's that's on number six. Uh, what just? Hmm. That might be right, actually. The thickness of that. Well, I might just go one more. Let's see what how, what it looks like. Yep, yeah, one more. So number seven on my machine. Could be different for you guys on your machine. Could be number eight. But number seven is what I've got. And then I'll put that across here, like so. Always put a bit of flour so the other sheets don't stick. Just rub it in like that. Let's go like that with it. Right, so it's all even. You won't have any problems when you, when you um, take the other ones off later on. All right, so I'll continue this. I'll continue rolling all these 
out until they're finished and then I'll show you what I do when I put it together. Welcome back to cooking with the Riz. So I've rolled all my pasta sheets out. I've just laid a few out here just to show you what to do. Okay, I've got my ricotta mix here. So what you do is you just put a little bit of mix in here like this. Okay, flip it over like so. Make sure it's all in there. Oh, a little bit of water. Sorry. Just a little bit of water so it sticks. In there. And you push that down like that. And you go around it with your little tool. I've got this little tool here. You can use any other tool you like. Um, I have to push these down with a fork af afterwards. So I'm just going to line them up on the tray and then we'll go from there. Uh, but this is all you need to do. So you cut that bit off. These bits here, we'll turn them into some fettuccine later. And you just continue on. You just go bit by bit. Little bit of water. And just over the over there and press them down like so and then around you go with your little tool and you got nice big angulotti look at that so and then I'll um, I will um, press them down later like I said with a fork all right people so I'll do another one just to show you again so get a nice amount of Ricotta filling. Oh, butterfingers. Okay, a little bit of water so it sticks. Over we go. With that. Push it down, just like that. And then around with your tool. It's just a half moon shape, this one. Alright, you can just sort of the filling inside you can just kind of press out a little bit if you have to and then after I'll get a fork and I'll go actually I'll show you now with a fork let's grab one okay, so, so with a fork all you need to do is just push it around the edge just to seal it make sure it's sealed properly that's it that's all pretty easy just like that all right and I'll do another one for you That's what my grandma used to get us to do when we were kids. We used to help her make this all the time. Pasta and fettuccine, whatever she was cooking. So I hope I'm doing her proud. All right, so I'll do the rest because this will take a bit of time to do. Um, but, uh, and then I'll come back later when I've uh, cooked them. I'll cook them and I'll show you and put them in the sauce and uh, That'll be the end of that one. All right, thank you.